A long time ago in the 90s, professional basketball stars were featured in movies, TV series, cereal, just a whole bunch of things that they could possibly stuff them into. And one basketball star got his own video game. Well, you know what? A lot of basketball stars got their own video games, but we're going to talk about one specific instance where a basketball star got a fighting game, very much like Street Fighter for absolutely no reason. Ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be taking a look at Shaq Fu, considered by most to be one of the worst fighting games ever made. Let's find the positives. Shaq Fu is a fighting game very similar to Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat. It was released on multiple platforms, however the one version that apparently is the best out of all of them was the Sega Genesis version. It included more characters to play and just a whole bunch of other stuff. But really, if you play this game on any other platform, the experience is pretty much going to be the same. It's not a good game. See, Shaq Fu has a whole bunch of problems. One of the biggest ones is that the controls are completely unreliable. And actually, the input themselves are very slow to be recognized by the system. The best way to describe this game is imagine you have a grocery cart with a missing wheel. You're trying to run away from some rabid dog, and you're desperately pushing that grocery cart down a really, really long alleyway. Well, imagine that dog is biting you on your legs every single time, just jumping at you and getting at you. That's what this game is like, because the AI has no problem whatsoever attacking you, because the input problems, well, they don't exist for the AI, but they do exist for you. It's totally unfair. And on top of that, the music is jarring. It's like listening to a cat dying in some kind of windmill mixing machine. I don't even know what that is, but I'm pretty sure it would sound terrible. It's a very strange game, and I believe it was only made just because, well, Shaq O'Neal was a huge, huge, huge basketball star, and everybody loved him. Unless you weren't, you know, rooting for his team or something, but it doesn't matter. This game is not very good. I really feel that without Shaq, this game would have fell by the wayside. Having him in the game as the star really makes this otherwise unnotable game kind of remarkable. I mean, it's not like this is the first game that ever had a celebrity cameo, but it does mean that we actually pay attention to this game that otherwise would have been completely forgotten. So, positive number one, Shaq O'Neal's in the game. There's a lot of really cool looking stages in this game. Honestly, I was very impressed by that. And one of the really weird things was that I'm actually quite certain there's a day and night cycle in this game. I've never really seen anyone make mention of it before, but yeah, I've played a level where it's in nighttime, and then I've also played the same level where it's in daytime. That's a little cool actually. You really don't see that kind of detail in a game like this, or in many games from that time period. So, positive number two, cool looking levels. Although this game visually has some problems here and there when it comes to the actual designs of things, the levels do look cool, but one of the best things that this game has to offer is its animations. There's just a lot of really good detail in the way that they walk and move, and it's kind of nice to see that. It really feels like they didn't totally not care about the game when they were making it. So because of those little extra details, positive number three is that this game has some great looking animations. The last thing I want to say about this game is that it's got a bizarre story. The dialogue is really weird. Everything that's going on in the game is just craziness. It's super, super strange. And you know what? That's cool. See, if this game was just Shaq going into the streets of New York and beating people up for no reason, it wouldn't have been fun. But this game is actually enjoyable if you enjoy just bizarre weird things. If you're a fan of B-movies, this is totally up your alley. This is like the movie that Shaq never made in the 90s about him traveling to some alternate dimension and fighting a bunch of monsters. So positive number four, it's a hilarious game to experience. So if you find this game out in the wild, give it a shot. You may find it to be a really funny, enjoyable experience. Though the gameplay is bad. Just 
have a sense of humor when playing it. 